Sounds like it's morning. Mm. <clears throat> How was the night? Didn't miss anything, did I? That wasn't too bad. Uh, no, didn't miss anything. How'd you sleep? Actually, not bad. Considering I was up every time you moved, it definitely could have been worse. <clears throat> sorry. Nah, don't complain. Oh, sorry. At don't apologize. When I fall asleep, I don't move too much. But um, yeah. By the time I got up to walk around, I figured you'd be awake. Yeah. It's not your fault. I'm just a light sleeper. <sighs> How about you? Sleep okay when you did? You seem to conk out pretty hard. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty tired after yesterday and all of the fighting and whatnot, so I tend to sleep pretty well after combat. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> well, was... Maybe it's maybe whatever they fed me as well had something to do with it. I just remembered I didn't eat yesterday. Oh, morning. <clears throat> morning, Lily. How, How are you doing? Uh, well I'm, enough. I'd say I'm doing okay, but I, I think I drank a little too much last night. Uh, fair enough. Take care of yourself then, okay? You guys as well. Plans for today? You need me for anything? Uh, I shouldn't. Alright, let me know if I you go really have too much killing going orcs on, again. So... <clears throat> <laughs> no, that's the bias time. Hmm. <sighs> Alright. Oh. Time to face the day. Hmm? Alright, let's go then. Mm. Oh, good morning, how are you feeling? Um... Not too well. Um... I think I was, um... If you are free a little later, yeah, I think I should like a little, 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 little bit. Yeah. yeah, we can do that. Um, here. Um, she hands you 15 right. copper. I won't take any more of your time. Get some water from the tavern. You're going to need that, actually. You know what? Let's make it... Let's make it 40. So you can eat something, too. You're going to need a lot of foods, like mm. eggs and sausage. Oh! Mm. 
Get the bucket, get the bucket! In here, in here! Come on! I got it. Oh. This is why you don't drink. This is why I didn't give you as much. Oh. <sighs> Poor thing. Everyone needs to learn. Oh. Uh, thank you both very much yeah. for spending the night. It's of very course. sweet of you. I actually slept pretty of well for once. <laughs> that room is very comfortable, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, it's the first time I've been up there. Not bad. Hmm. And you were even on the oh, bed, bed. Come by sometime. <laughs> <laughs> we might be able to get you up there without the need of you paying as much silver as most. Ah. Rent discount. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> How was your night? Um, Didn't miss I anything, believe I... No. Uh, Soma is sleeping like a baby, finally. Good. He was tossing and turning. Um, we probably won't see him today, though. He is out cold. <laughs> hmm. He's still alive. Okay. I felt his heartbeat, so he's... He's okay. Just very tired. Yeah, I bet. Is <laughs> that yawning? Yeah, for I think yawn. that was yawning. <laughs> Be yawning. <laughs> mm. Be yawning. Oh, that's a good one. Go, go get some food, dear. Okay. Mm. You're going to. I can't wait just do water for now. I think you can okay. help food is well, making me sick. Let Garbon know that you have a really bad hangover. And he will probably give you something to help, okay? I will. Okay. Hair of the dog. Mm. Nope, nope, still got it. I remember my first hangover, it was awful. I remember vowing never to drink again. And then the next night, I drank more. <laughs> <clears throat> that's, uh... I think that's the, uh, the pointy ears. Our system is telling us that we can keep drinking. <laughs> they lie to us. <laughs> um, I don't know if this is something mm -hmm. you guys do here. Uh, my armor is caked in blood from yesterday. I don't suppose there's a... Cleaning service or something. If not, I can I do usually, it myself. But are you used to... Uh, you know the person that cleans your forge? Yeah. Uh, she normally is the one to do that, but... We do have some I stuff can clean here it. we can uh, try to <clears throat> see. I haven't spent 200 years around Bjornings and did not learn how to clean blood out of armor. Yeah, sure. Can you make it smell nice, too? That would work. Sure. You can borrow some of our perfumes upstairs if need be. Don't make me smell like a bathhouse girl. Sure. <laughs> Something nice and neutral. <laughs> Wait, <clears throat> I'll make you smell like a bathhouse uh, guy. I, uh, actually, hmm. yes, we have some cedar smelling things upstairs. I actually quite like You'll cedar. You'll be able to tell which one, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. That would be very appreciative, Sif. Thank you. Yeah, I can do that for you. It's no problem. Hmm. Mm. I saw your, um, I guess he called you his father last time that there was a meeting or whatever. Um, he just rode into town. I think he left in the middle of the night or something. He... I would go and check out on him, make sure he's okay. Yeah, thanks, Basil. You okay with that, Sif? Mm. Yeah, I'll get this right. done and back to you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Take it easy.
sure. Still don't think anybody's doing jargon this morning. So. Yeah, but we were about to do that. Echoes of words uttered years ago. If you just wanted to settle down, if you just wanted to be free, you have but to choose, Arnold. Good morning. But if you just wanted to settle down, morning. Making breakfast. <clears throat> Give it all away. You could. But the kingdom. But the oath. But the bind of honor. <laughs> Duin seems farther away than ever. I heard you took an excursion out of town last night. I did. Everything okay? Is anything ever okay? Well, you know what I mean. Immediate actions with you. We're on the precipice of immediate action. Okay. Because of what's happened. <clears throat> more and more I've become convinced that we need to spend less time trying <clears throat> to hide in the shadows and more time establish ourselves here in a way that we cannot be touched by the enemy and gain strength. Hmm. But before I can devise that, I need to go and take care of something. Okay. <clears throat> I believe I have gotten on the noble woman's bad side. How? Are there no clean pots? The way I spoke to her when we were out and about. Oh. Sorry, direct while you were away. The Triton uh, knows us, right? Yes. Okay, I thought you meant um, Baroness. <sighs> no. Before I do so, however. Hi, hello. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this was about the men we had established um, watches on within the guard, yes? Targets. Oh. But before this that was the, the men you met with uh, <laughs> during the nights uh, you've been riding with. Last night, you mean? Hmm. A contact that I'm wary of, but might be able to offer assistance if they get what they want. Or an elven noble, minor noble, with contacts back in their own homeland. They have no interest in the local politics. But they might have a similar interest to ours. When I'm sure of it, I will elaborate. Now is not the time. Right. What is important as of right now is through a bit of information that we've gathered, the guards, for the most part, have been proven to only follow the Capitan out of fear. He has sent several forces in doing his bidding, but are keeping the other men in line. We've identified one who's going to be working as a bit of a contact for us. He's been shown mercy, I suppose. Hmm. The only way he can reach any sort of self-absolution is if he helps dismantle what he's helped create. But even so, there's going to be several men who need to either be convinced otherwise or disappear more than likely there's going to be some conflict coming up so I'm going to have to call you when things are out in the open I was going to suggest to you and to you actually I've been looking I've been surveying the <laughs> you wouldn't believe this 
the keeps outer walls and Nodis's walls in <coughs> its buildings. A lot of this ramshackle has exploits in its foundations. If you or you wanted a way in somewhere, let's say a building or a keep, I'd be able to assist just based on Gilda's knowledge. That might be something we can use in the near future. Mm -hmm. It depends on the situation. But if we do go the route of having to install someone, that more likely will require a takeover of the keep itself. There's no pussyfooting around it. <laughs> so if we need to find a way into it so we can spill men inside before they can react and take control of the situation, that will be best. For well, sure. It's only time to think on it. What we need to do is to get you, your armor and weapons all together. I have a feeling conflict is going to break out soon. Morden has uh, my gear. It's on the way. Good. Then we'll get you outfitted if you take my meeting. All right. Well, I'll be around if you need me. We need to go ahead with Miss Venora's plan and start building a stable close here. I'm going to start providing her with the silver she needs, but we need to look for more income. We need to get established quicker than this. <clears throat> now I need to go deal with Nulzus. Hmm. You want me with you on this? Well, I don't say. think you should Good be. Morning. Fair enough. Oh. Well, Marcus. <laughs> Good morning. How are you? Yeah, surviving. I stayed the night at the bathhouse, feeling <clears throat> a little bit more refreshed. Hey, it's good to hear. Hmm. How about you? I could barely sleep, but <clears throat> still getting at it, you know? Hmm. Things are changing. Uh, Stu is on. Uh, uh, yes. Which we didn't Lots of yesterday. things are... Got something. A couple <clears throat> hours, maybe, and then it might be done. I'll grab it at lunch or something. Mm. I'll probably grab some fish if you want me to add it to it. I was thinking about going out in the ocean soon. Hmm. For sure. Ah, do you mind? <laughs> Sorry, I can't need to have a word <laughs> with him. Oh, I, I got a... Uh, have, I gotta be in the ocean soon. Um, got something to do. But afterwards, um, I shouldn't be too long in the ocean. Sure. I'll be, uh, Absolutely. near the forge. Hey. So, uh, I'll go catch this fish and this stew so they can cook properly, and I'll be right back, and, um, I'll yeah, find you. Yeah, just add it to the stew. If you want mm. to. Uh, fish yeah, stew. good. Lovely. The list of people that have seen such a thing, do you remember? Oh, that saw Soma? Yeah. <clears throat> do you have, like, the full idea of, uh, of, of them all? Most of the people were in the room last night, right? It was you, Basil... I don't... Well, I guess Basil was taken out first, but mm. she would have been hold so technically yes <clears throat> but she's fine um Severick Angus yes the man named Angus the that's one I showed you. current running theory and then the bathhouse worker Lily unfortunately she's and I think she's fine uh, Gabram which dealt with dealt with I think, kind of. There's a, there's a chance though that gets me unnerved. We'll keep an eye on him. Um, 
And I think there was one more. I'd have to check my memory. The current running theory but otherwise... that was brought to me was Angus. Hmm. Because I don't think any of the guard were there. They had left already by the time we were there. The issue. I have no idea who it could be then. Let's. Yeah, go ahead. I want to bring it up with uh, Arn before I make any moves, but. If it is Angus, he is a skilled fighter. So, if he is to be removed. Oh, shoot. Because they said be... someone with a sword? <clears throat> a mercenary? Yeah. That. That's the one. I guess he's the only one that fits the description, but he doesn't seem like that kind of man. Well, when Narn's done with this thing, I'll bring it up with him and we can pull another gerb on. And Tori, but she <clears throat> seems scared out of her fucking mind, so... I mean, we, we corner him I don't... in his room and threaten him, and if he, you know... We... Yeah. Three of us should be able to take him if he's... As skilled as I've been told. What can happen, though, on a proactive level, is that if a rumor is out, <laughs> I can help dispel said rumor by making it ridiculous beyond <clears throat> belief. Because mm. usually how these things go is, if the threat is out there, if I were to make it so ridiculous, people would just dismiss it entirely. The issue is that these guards threatened Basil last night. They were on the verge of killing her because this rumor got out. She's been going around just saying it was a potion that he took that got him back up. Right. So if anyone brings it up, dismiss it and say, no, I heard it was a potion or something of the sort. Because <clears throat> if this keeps going yeah. around and keeps being a big thing, the guards will come back and they will definitely kill her. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. Yeah. I'll keep an ear out. All right. Are you uh, looking at these list of guards? Am I looking at them? Or do you want to? I mean... I thought Arn brought it up with you. I, I don't think he might have yet, or if he did, I don't remember. I thought that's what he was talking um, about here, about some of them being... Cor it's fine, I can bring mm. it up with you later. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I'll be around today. Whatever you need my help. It sounds like he's kind of done doing the subterfuge thing. He's going to be bursting out of the shadows any day now, so we need to be ready for that, okay? Oh, okay. Oh, dear. Yeah. All right. I'm a little concerned, but... So, how best can we prepare for something such as that? Have your weapons and armor ready um... at any given time. <laughs> <clears throat> Couple days on a chess plate, but sure. Fingers crossed, I suppose. All right. <laughs> Do we want to make a grand appearance? <laughs> I don't think anything like that. Some I just think his, his moves are going to be more okay. open. Right. Yeah. We're moving too slowly. Okay. Things need to get done quick. So. <clears throat> okay. So what's something? I can do proactive today. We need to find sources of income. So if you can find anything like that, any investments would be handy. Passive income. We're stretched pretty thin as it is. So anything we can invest in that would generate money to us over time. Passively. What got me through two years ago? How about a brand new line of soap bars? If you can use it to make money, by all means, I think... <laughs> Oh, absolutely. You could sell it to the bathhouse workers. <laughs> Everyone needs soap. You need tallow yeah. for that, right? You need a shit ton of animal fat. <laughs> yeah. Buy it cheap off the hunters. I think Clifford, it's a byproduct of what Clifford does. Either Clifford or an alchemist. It's either the t alchemist station or a brewery station can make um, soap. Mm. But mm, to get the animal fat, hunter, maybe? Hunter or the butcher. Right. Which, um, I mean, they technically they give it to the butcher. So. I could talk to Lorelai and right. see if she's willing to get some to you. 
that's how I that's how I bought steel. So I think we make well, a decent yeah. amount if you increase the production. Yeah, that sounds good actually. <laughs> Let's um, I'll pursue that pass. So that's a, that's today. a side thing. Yeah, we're obviously looking for something pretty good. I'll keep on the lookout. All right, good shit, Marcus. Yeah. Oh, the mill. Right. The mill's almost done. Who so, would own the mill? I mean, technically, it's for public use, but through the coin cousins. Mm. Technically. Coin cousins? Because they... Uh, Vesrin and... Oh, fuck. Marco. That's the, that's the name they go... Well, that's not the name they go by. <laughs> it's the nickname people gave them. Right. All they care about is coin. Right, so I think through them might be able to work something. Mm, okay. Oh. We need something like that, yeah. If we can repair another granary or something. I don't know, another mill. Mm. I'll think on it. If you come up with anything, sure. let Let's me know. know. <laughs> Time to start the day. Of course. Today's the day to not be worthy. <laughs> it doesn't... Look, if you if you still want to if you still want to yeah. say it, by all means, like I, I'm not gonna. I, uh, it's like when I spawn in for the day. It's like what I say to get in my mindset, you know. Yeah, Today's that's fine. Day I become worthy. Yeah. I see you around, Marcus. Oh, hey, hmm? that's him right there. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, I've, uh... Unfortunately, I don't really have much to... It's an exciting story, to be honest. I've been trying to work where I can, but... But I cannot bake for the life of me. Morning, Shriek. Morning. Why don't you ask Miss Lade to show you? Uh, I'm good. Morning, Gutsman. How's your hand, Blacksmith Apprentice? Good morning. Fully functional. Investments, investments.
fucking dare you. Who? That could be a Actually, lot can't run of people. Gotta walk. Just literally one guy. Sometimes he goes like... <laughs> yeah, he was over there behind your shop, actually. Yeah, yeah I know. Is he wearing he, a red I I... a red turban? Or is it... What does he look like? <clears throat> He's like a, like a man Good day, wearing going, like a brown tunic. Brown tunic. I don't know. I don't know every crazy <laughs> homeless person in Nottis, I'm afraid. I don't think he's homeless because he go around the corner and he disappears. So I assume he's like lives in this house right here. Cause he's like in this in this alleyway. So like if you, Kyler, sorry, Sharik, if you go that way, I go this way. We can corner him. Right. Catch him. And back. do what? I don't harass. Find him. out where he goes. He harasses us. We harass him. You want a mug snarling guy? I don't think he oh, wants to mug him. I think he wants to know. I think he wants to know where he disappears to. He's he's very good at disappearing. It's like he just like disappears the second he goes around the corner. You you'd be right. Well, if you see him, let me know. I haven't. I I don't know. <laughs> okay, is he this way? Well, learning how to use an abacus is its own entire own thing, but it's not hard to do if you know numbers. The client does have unique taste. I can do numbers, yeah. Well, this should oh. be fine for you. Hi. Hi. I need to talk to you yeah, about an yeah, order. Yeah, that fucking look in your eye. All right. I mean, apparently what do you need? <laughs> Uh, well, it's a bit of a discreet order. Sure, lead the way. We'll talk at your place. Have fun, you two. Yeah, sure, I guess. It's closer. I'll kick out all of those bitches I got stacked in there then. And or something. Morning, uh, but if you want to stick oh, a little bit, I sure. think you speak with you. You and I both know. That they'll never leave. They're addicted <laughs> to the travel. <laughs> it's true. By the way, that's a box of iron, and it's mine, and I need to sell it to either you or Morden. How much iron? Oh, 22 raw ore. Okay. I've got more of a discount since I got into the sawtooth. You also owe me a discount because of me helping you yes. get into the Merchants Guild. Uh, sorry, what? Remember me paying you money so that you can get into the Merchants Guild? Oh, that's that's unrelated to the Sawtooths, but uh, you're right. You did do that. I was going to give you money uh, percentages off <clears throat> until, um... Exactly. The five was paid back. Sure then, we can do that. We can okay. start there. Um, so I, let me see here. We'll just quickly knock that out before we get into the, um, yeah, nuts sure. and bolts of what we had to talk about. Nuts and bolts. So, oh yes. Absolutely. Now let's see. Without making really any profit at all, I can sell you them at 16 apiece. <laughs> what? 16 right. copper apiece? Yes. So that's uh, with oh. your discount to the sawtooth? 
Yes. And that's with my discount to you. No, it's not with the discount to me. The to you to me. The not yet. Uh, one second. To put that in a frame of reference, just so you are aware, at the free wharf, in order to import them from there, it's twenty eight per unit. Okay, but we're not at the free wharf or at Nautus. Right. So, I was ten a piece until it's paid back, or well, ten a piece, and then the six each goes off of the five. Uh, I could do ten a piece, sure. Perfect. So, how much is that? Would you all twenty-two? Yeah. That would be two silver twenty. Yeah, you know what? I can do that. And I'll do it out of my own funds. Perfect. You said two silver twenty? Oh, big spender. Yes. That's actually really handy. That actually lines things up really nice for me. Thank you for taking my there money, Vincerin. You're welcome. Anytime. Of course. Okay. <laughs> and it was twenty-two... Uh, units? Twenty-two all in that box. Can I... Okay, now we're cooking. So that becomes... 32 fucking weeks. Alright, what do you want to talk to me about? I want to talk to you about um, a lot of things. First of all, Tazim seems like he's in a very sour mood. Is something wrong? I think he's just tired of playing things slowly, you know? Well, this subterfuge doesn't seem to get us anywhere, and I think he's frustrated by that. You know, he doesn't really we all? come from backdoor dealings and alleyway stabbings and, you know, lying and stuff like that. So I think this whole thing's gotten him pretty wound up mm. at this point. I mean, we've been in Nortis profitably for what, over a month, two months or something like that. Been working at this hard for like, I mean, we haven't really made any progress. So I guess he's irritated, understandably. Well, I have some news that might <clears throat> shift the scales. Um, as you know, I've been doing my own information gathering, being the face of things, trying to take the brunt of whatever falls down the pipeline. Mm. Keeping heat off of all of you. Right. My goal, anyway. Part of that... Um, I've learned a lot of things from the Robber Baron and from the Major Tubman. Okay. And I don't know how to play this. I'll tell you how everything stands right now. There is a meeting either today or tomorrow between Tubman and the Elves. The Robber Baron plans to... He heard about this. I don't know how he heard about it because Tobman insists that the only people that know is a Mem himself and the elves. Their captain and their dignitary. So either someone overheard and he doesn't realize it, or the elves are working with the robber baron. The robber baron plans to kill Tobman at this meeting. He didn't say anything about the elves. Be right back. Sure. Oh, good morning. Morning. Uh, can we speak? How urgent are we talking? Mm, well, if you're from the little bit eastern area. Edgemo? You know where I'm from. That's, uh, yeah. Uh, I need to finish this and then I can come find you. All right. All right. I'll be, yep. As soon as I'm done with this, I'll hunt you down. Hmm. Right. 
And he's planning on killing the major. Yeah, that's not good. Killing Todman. No, because either that means either the embassy <clears throat> collapses and they take over without any leadership present, uh, or we get an even worse person taking the major's place. Ah, oh, damn, this place is too popular. Yes, that's why he said not to come here. Yeah. I'll be right back. Maybe we should go to, um, Troll. Sif. Oh. Ah, there you are. There you are, your Thank armor. You. How much do I owe you? It is clean, and it smells of pine. Who? Don't owe me anything. You spoil me. Thanks, Actually, sir. <laughs> my, my treat for you, okay? Sure. I'll catch up with you later, okay? All right. <sighs> More than likely. Shall we walk? No, because if people see me out, they'll try and catch me too. More than likely, it'll result in him being replaced by someone from the Inquisition. Right. I don't know if you're aware. That's worse. But... After what happened... Oh, fuck. Basically, someone ratted us out to the innkeeper. And the innkeeper has reported that to Amem. Raven. Yes, and the Amem was also there with the Major, and there is a good chance that everything that has been taught or told about these mushroom people and everything like that has gone back to uh, gone back to the Imperial, which means we have roughly just under a month before something comes, most likely the Inquisition. So we need to figure shit out and right. quickly. So if that is the case... It also means it's roughly a month or so for the... Inqu if the Inquisition is coming anyway, does it matter that Major Tubman dies? <sighs> Naturally, you know, I feel like we're on the same wavelength. We're talking politics. Of course, it's an awful thing, but strategically. No, we still need the stability because if we are to make moves and put ourselves in a position of power, the only way we can stop the Inquisition from coming here is by getting into a position of power or getting someone in a position of power to act on our behalf and turn the ships away diplomatically before they even dock. What the fuck happened to you? We have... Nozos made a point. Fucking bitch. We have an option. If we can get the Robber Baron into power, as much as Tazim hates it. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Because if he is working for the I Elves anyway... I do believe that, um... Then it's... Well, I don't know if he is, it's not for sure. It's... A possibility. What are we conspiring about now? All kinds of things. There's a chance the mage is going to be killed today by the rubber baron. He doesn't know how to play it. Or oh, tomorrow. That's bad. Why? <clears throat> He'd be replaced with someone else, probably Inquisition. They won't be able to replace anyone until another ship comes. And we can be sure the Inquisition's coming anyway, thanks to the hunter. Yeah. So I say again, what does it matter? If anything, it <sighs> will throw the Imperials in disarray for the, what, month we have until that ship arrives. It's one of the only things this keeping the happens. robber baron the Imperials... from walking in to the city anyway, right? They're a stopgap. When the Imperials go into disarray, they will probably take the embassy. And at that point, <clears throat> I believe that Kovaz's elf friends will bring a battalion in. As you've said, they said that they will bring in people to swoop in when the time is right. Something the like death that. of Major, whatever his name is. Is not going to negate the fact they have several hundred soldiers at the embassy. With his death, they're not going to just move in and take the embassy. It's not just Tobman, it's going to be his lieutenants as well. Apparently, they'll all be at the meeting. Then somebody there will be will no take one to lead. 
We've seen how they operate. We've seen their hierarchy. They're not gonna just break. True. But the foray against the Robber Baron will stop. Probably. They're wasting a lot of manpower trying to crush him right now. At all. I'm sure. Falter. The Tob Tobman and then the Lieutenant's die. More than likely with the death of the only diplomatic officer they have, their only choice will be to hole up inside of the embassy and await further orders. Which would be coming in less mm, than a month. They'll be a non-player. Mm -hmm. Temporarily, for at least, what, the estimated 2019 days, Something we like think, that. until that ship comes. Mm. We won't have to worry about them. Could be handy. And while they're in disarray, might be the right time for subterfuge. A foray into the embassy. Mm-hmm. The fear, though, is the elves will probably mobilize at that time, bring in their platoon or whatever they've got planned. Strike the robber baron. Then the elves take control, and that's arguably as bad. I still don't understand why the elves would care to control the province. I think whatever the answer is, is behind those tall, locked up marble doors that lead underground. Maybe, maybe not. Either way, I think the so. rest of Gradia isn't going to just watch this happen. Who's going to tell them? They've lost their, uh, garrison. They have no men here. They would have to mobilize an entire new garrison. And they would probably send not? a word to their garrison and then not wonder why they haven't received word back and it would take a whole... Do you not get imports from the capital? And it takes, what, two days? A day? Imports are one thing, but a military force its another. I'm sure if it was an emergency, and they know that they can dock inside of the town, they would probably be here a lot faster than we expect. Not to mention their most military power in Gradia is based on mercs, and mercs are fucking everywhere. Well, that's also the problem, as anyone could get their loyalty. Mm. We still don't know the alignment of the Sordillo Company. Although their hands are very full right now, because they were foolish enough to establish themselves by the crags, thinking it was a defendable position. Now look at them. I suppose the it's other thing is, Tobman is a decent man. He's been truthful with me, as far as I can tell, and he operates with integrity. If he dies, I don't know. Well, he stops being someone you have to play. It's one board, one piece off the board, and it negates the rest of their faction for a time. I do not see a downside to this. If the Inquisition is on its way already, they're going to take control of the situation. I don't know, perhaps he gave me hope that things could be peaceful. And how many wants the best for the province? How many other people do you think the Robber Baron told about this attack? Because if it suddenly gets stopped, you know who he's going to look to, right? I do. I give a vague I do not sort understand. of. You you change in stance. When we started this, you made it very clear that you agreed that the Imperials were a large threat. That their presence here is a threat to us, and ours. And now you're... what? Forgotten what they would do, to you, specifically. No, I haven't. I counterpoint the elves would do choice similarly. the is clear. Especially to me. If you've for somehow, for whatever reason, reconciled your own flesh, burning off your body, then think of the ones that you love and care about. It is not something you want to see, or endure. Trust me. You're right. And speaking of burning flesh, we have to have a talk. 
What is it? That's for later. I do not know if he'll be around later. And I'll say this, but it can't leave this room. There's a ticking time bomb noticed? in our midst. I am not one of the people who run my mouth to others. I know. I'm just making that clear. I'm listening. Marcus has not been mentally well, I think, for the last however many days, weeks. No, he's been shaken to his core ever since he witnessed what was under Ledford. Ever since he saw what is really down there. He told Severick and Tori in private how much he despised other races and said well he threatened them threatened he would burn them if they told anyone specifically burn them and are you sure this men. is in relation to that belief or because he thinks, because of their involvement with these mushrooms, that they too are infected. Marcus is infected. We all are. He knows this. He might be in denial, which is why I've ordered Venora to start testing all of our blood to find out if any of us are like Soma. It was specifically regarding their race. And he expressed to me in confidence how easy it would be when the ships were here just to turn us all in and get back in the good graces and get to go home a moment of weakness I'm sure I don't think he truly wants to betray us but he's suffering like how I used to be suffering hatred It doesn't excuse what he's done. He needs a firm hand, but he needs a guiding hand. And most of all, Torty and Severick are terrified that if any of this gets back to Marcus, that he'll make good on his promise. It'd be impossible for him to do that without anyone knowing. And yet they are still terrified. Yes, well, she's terrified of a multitude of things, and Severick shouldn't even be aware of the things he is. I will deal with Listen. Marcus. Thank you. Torty is in this, whether you like it or not. Uh, on. She is proving to be a loose end, again and again and again. And I keep telling you, you need to tie that off before it becomes a raven situation. She's not a loose end. How could she have known that Gabam was an agent? It's not like she was confiding into Why him. Is Raven's the one that did this. to believe that there is some sort of strange magic bullshit happening with you and Tordy? Because he saw my arm go off once in, in the night. And neither of you have ever spoke to him about it at all. I have. I said it was a trick of the light. He was drunk. But then more <laughs> he stuff has happens. He spoken to me and has confided in me and told me that he has seen nothing but strange things happen around you and Tordy. That he believes that he needs to separate her from you because you're going to get her killed. That is how invested he is in whatever it is he knows about you. And well, that's not her fault. More than what you're telling me. It's my fault. Oh, I know that you have fault at play. Trust me. My point is that the more people that know, the more people that become aware of this, the more danger everyone collectively is in. I know. Then let's talk plainly. She is a drunk. And she has spent a lifetime being a sellout. And she acknowledged this to my face. You don't think that's a cause for concern, no matter what your personal feelings are. 
One moment of weakness, one mistake that is more likely because of her traits. She has never said anything that could have hurt us. Yet, I agree. Yet. No, no yet. She has sworn to me secrecy. How many times has that worked out for us? Considering it's worked out a lot. Perhaps we have different groups of friends then. Even if she didn't know he would talk to Considering how many people are involved. Even if she didn't know he would talk to a mem, she shouldn't she... have told him anyway. She didn't. Not a single thing. Gabom encountered us while we were running from Lisa, and he demanded to know why we were acting that way. I simply told him he would not leave it alone. I thought about killing him then and there, just to be done with it, but... That's... <sighs> I don't want to be a murderer. And it the doesn't... emotional bond that those two have does not come from just speaking about surface level things. When we were there, she was relying on him emotionally. She was making sure we didn't touch him. Do you understand that? So when you tell me that she has said nothing to him, I don't believe you. And not because I think you're lying to me, but I think that she has been confiding in other people that she should not be. I think she might be afraid to tell you that, because then it will prove exactly what I've said. She's been thrust into something she doesn't understand. She does not yet understand the ramifications of what is going to happen within the next several weeks. She understands, Han. And Gerbram only agreed to work with me when I told him that her life was in danger if he didn't. That should tell you a lot. There's something there that shouldn't be. She told me that she recently found out that the people in her crew didn't care about her. Apparently, yes, Gabon cares about, about her. Yes, I told you about conversation. Yes. He's an informant. Do I not know. grasp this. He is an informant, and she has loose lips. He is using she does her. does not have loose lips. My God, you. Loose lips doesn't mean that she goes up and says every little thing to him. Loose lips means that if she feels she can confide in him, he can pry for information. Inference things. Then I'm not I will saying make that's sure directly that her fault, I will... but I keep telling you you need to sit and talk with her to make sure she cuts I that will. off, Mirandel. I will. I will. I don't I don't have these conversations with you for the sake of yelling at you. I don't like this. I consider you my equal. Out of everyone that we have to work with, it is genuinely only the people in this fucking room. There are people around us with good intentions. There are people around us who may care. But they don't understand. They do not understand. Those loyal to us that have been with us since the beginning are the only ones who come closest to grasping those who found out about it and have been quiet and assisted us thus far are the ones closest to understanding but at the end of the day where you point where I point people look people like Raven who think that they have their best interests in mind I sat him right where you're sitting and I told him that I understood that he was trying to do the right thing. I told him that I understood that he was trying to prepare people for what he thought they could help fight against. But I made it very clear that the pros outweigh the cons. Or the cons outweigh the pros. That if anyone finds out about it, if there's even a slight mistake, everyone involved will die. And I told him. If you threaten my people that I love, my friends, and the people who have scragged up rocks and cliff faces to get to where we are now just to survive, if you throw that all under the cart, I will kill you. I will have you killed. 
because you will prove that you cannot accept counsel and will not put other people's lives in front of your own personal beliefs. I said it three times, Mirando. But four witnesses. What would you suggest? That we let him continue to run around? No. He's a loose end. And I hate he to say is. it. is. Yes. And I'm telling you, don't let her do the same thing. That is all I'm saying. Believe me, don't the point is received. Don't let manipulate her into that. That aside. <sighs> we need to make I a choice. I learned something, by the way. Go ahead. From the rubber baron, his notes, he copied down an excerpt from this book that he had found. It talks about bloodline magic. Apparently, the bloodlines are related to Elysium. The ones who created it all. For us? I don't know, but there are more answers there, so I'll keep meeting Is with him. something that can help with your arm? I think so. It's a lead, at least. And I spoke to Eowyn. He said, um, it seems like it wasn't the rock that is tainted, but the space from where I created it. So I think we should move the rock from that space. It's the basement? Right. Part of that makes sense only for my basic rudimentary understanding of one thing. If I remember the notes that you read clearly, years ago, Morogorath was once Elysium. Yes? Same place. Different name now. Right. Okay. Whatever happened there, from what we learned from whoever brought that horrible rock in the first place, Silver had said he met with some sort of elf. The arm something, I don't remember. Point is... Mm. It's always been described as a wasteland. Empty, dead, nothing there. Which means no one is doing what you're doing. No one's meddling with magic, nothing like that. So it should have subsided thousands of fucking years ago. But the area is still tainted. Like, like Ireland is, but different. Whatever it was that happened there feels very similar to the range of destruction, I should say. The stories that have come out of mercenaries and merchants going to Morogorath, the whole place is sickeningly dark and whatever the fuck. But the point is, whatever happened to destroy it has sounded from everything we've discovered thus far to be magical in nature. So, perhaps whatever happened at that point of time, whatever amount of magic or whatever took place there... It's entirely possible that the same thing is on a much smaller scale, wherever it was that you fucked around with whatever that was. The area is... is... settling. Maybe it'll fade in time, I, I don't know, but it... Made me think of what we had discussed back in your <laughs> scribery of all places. Right. Then I think I'll move the stone. I think it might be exacerbating it. Do we know if it's still a part of it? I. In what way? Well, you said that you had tried to focus on it or something of the such. I focused energy on it, uh, tried to channel myself into it like they said to, and it worked, but I think that thing was actually attracted to it, not caused by it. From where? 
attracted to it. There's nothing near us. We're in a coastal town. All I know is it looks like those statues that were under Ledford surrounding that green th crystal thing. And I think it's from the Order. Why does that sound familiar? Did we talk about that at some point? Yes, the, they were opposed to Elysium. Uh, and... I think they could have named themselves a little bit more definitively. I'm assuming back then they were such a either commonplace or renowned order that they simply went by the order. Sort of how old towns fade out of history because everyone knew where they were at the time, no one thought to write it down. Makes sense. I don't grasp this shit. Well, whatever it is, it had to have come from somewhere, right? And all the places that we've heard about that has us raising our eyebrows that goes underground are sealed to our knowledge. So where did it come from? I think it... Uh, maybe whatever catastrophic thing happened, maybe the Order was involved, maybe the Order succeeded in whatever they wanted to do, maybe they're part of some greater force now. On the other side. Order. Or, uh, I'm sorry, under what? These strange ripples have been opening and closing in my basement. They're like... It's like staring into a starry abyss. I think this magic... It doesn't necessarily come from a place, but another plane, maybe. Uh, like a layer on top of ours. Or below it. Like it's the Underdog. Sort of, but in a metaphysical sense. Uh, it's all theoretical. I have no way to prove it, but... Do you know what he's talking about? No fucking idea. Alright, look. I'm gonna focus on what I do understand. It's my turn to talk your ear off. <sighs> we need to figure out what the fuck is gonna happen here at Nodis. We can do fuck all anywhere else until we secure our foundations. Right. I've spoken to Sharik. We're considering coming out of the shadow and establishing, our shell, establishing ourselves here. Making ourselves citizens or something the equivalent of that protects us from being extradited. Making ourselves known. If, before you disagree, we could successfully manipulate our way, and I hate this, into a position of minor nobility, for services rendered to whoever we install in power, either by force or otherwise, then those favors could get us what we need. Could get you the enterprise you're looking for, it could get us the position we're looking for, we could affect the nobles and affi efficiently put somebody in power that will respond to our desire because we've given them what they wanted. All right. It would have to be somebody that we don't expect to stab us in the back. Tell me, do you believe you have any leads on this avenue? My what thought do you think process. Is the way forward? I do not believe that the robber baron is a viable choice. Not. I believe that either the nearby families or the council will respond if it looks like just any upstart can control province. I believe this, especially now that you have said that Kovaz has someone on the council. Hmm. I did tell that to the rubber baron, and it gave them pause. They had not heard that. Then they understand it's a threat. Wait, they have not heard that? No. The rubber baron's always... men, they were... From what you've told us, they've had eyes and ears, both at the castle and the embassy. How did they miss that? 
Apparently, they don't have eyes in the castle right now. Their agents have not been responsive lately. They might be getting rooted out. Remember the same thing happened when... He who must not be named... Sent us to the border. His eyes and ears were not responding. Perhaps it's a similar situation that they've been found out and replaced. Right. My idea is this. It's rudimentary at best. We figure out over the next few days who it is that we need to support. Kovaz, or a Mem, or the Baroness. Well, the Baroness we need to figure out sooner table. rather than later. That's... The Our thing is, the Mem's hope. about to lose his power base. What do you mean? In a day or two, there is going to be a meeting between him and the elves. And somehow the robber baron picked up on this. Either he's working with the elves or someone who overheard it that wasn't supposed to. And he plans to kill the major and his lieutenants at this meeting. That's why you said that. All right. Then we have to provide a new power base. We need to find a way to supplement what he's losing that we have control over. There's a couple avenues here. One, the least likely out of it all, is having enough silver pooled together to hire the Sordillo. Not likely. That'd be a few gold. I, th I believe 350 silver, a, a, was it a week or a month? Enough for a power exchange at least to buy us time to find a new choice. That is the least likely of our options. The second most likely is if Morden is able to send a missive back to Van Folder and he brings his clan down here. A couple hundred dwarves should be enough. Mm. But that could be viewed as it's an external ask. issue as well. It is. Indeed. But he is the long beard of his clan. And I would know him a great deal. But that's if the High King even allows it because they are in the middle of fighting for their lives. So it is also unlikely. The only other viable option I can think of is the robber baron is killed. His men will have nowhere to go. If they are granted clemency, they might return to their posts. If it is put on the robber baron that they were manipulated and they were only loyal because he was a charismatic man who served Juldar, and they are granted pardons for the behaviors that they exhibited traitorous as it were if he is executed for those crimes and they are forgiven a few hundred men would return to their posts hmm. we a man to... would be very hard to convince for that he's a very by the books by law man well a man needs to realize from someone that he's about to lose his province one way or the other All right. I don't know how we're going to do this, but it's possible and it can be done. Worse comes or worse, Mirandel. Listen to me. If we get desperate, there are enough of us. If we got fully armed and armored, if we could find our way into the keep in the middle of the night and take control of it, and hand it over to whoever it is that we support. It is possible that by morning we could stabilize. If the wrenches are thrown into what our plans are. It is very risky. And there oh, is a chance shit. that it does not go the way it's meant to. But if it looks like we're about to meet our deadline and those ships are on their way, there's nowhere to go. Are you sure the rubber baron's not uh, an option? If Kovaz and the Mem are dealt with, he's told me by his own omission if the council were to send other nobles that were not the Bredards 
that he would resign peacefully and allow them to take over and take whatever fate is beholds him. What if you believe that or not? That makes it pointless then. That's the man at the very least. If we install him and then he just gives the power up to the council anyway, then it makes us installing him pointless. And remember, That's we've true. heard that Kovaz has a man on the council. Of vested interest. Rubbish. So, a surefire way to loop around. Two things could happen. One, whoever this is on the council gives Kovaz back the seat of power. Two, while this transition of power is taking place, the Vapects, or one of the other families, maybe the Kalari, make their move. The province would be in disarray. There'd be no way to organize any sort of defense, walls or not. I see. These factions are beginning to crumble, and some of them are leaning on each other. If one goes, it's going to start a chain reaction. We need to figure out which is best, not for the province, but for us. That's the position we've been thrust into. The robber baron believes that I... He said he sees me as an equal in all this, and whether that's true or not, probably false, probably trying to use me like anyone else has tried to use me. But, um... He's got notes, useful notes, notes that I need. He's promised to let me read them as he binds them, I'm sure he's stringing me along. But... I could get close enough to him to, I don't know, administer poison or, or something. I know that's distasteful to you, but considering all of our lives are on the line, I don't really mind. I don't believe the man should be poisoned. But he does need to meet his end. And I do not think quietly is the way to go. Even if somehow I did stomach the dishonor in it. Mm. In order for this to work, the robber baron must be publicly executed. And we need to have a hand in it. So how right. do we get him without killing all of his men? We need to find a time when he's vulnerable. And either extradite him from wherever he's hiding. Or intercept him whenever he's outside of his safety net. He's vulnerable now. Uh, hmm. He plans to hit the Mercenaries Guild, the local one, soon. I don't know if he's going to do it personally, but I actually sent him a letter the other day telling him that if he were to be able to show the Mercenaries the uh, his character and, and give them, show them that there's a future fighting for him, that he could flip these useful Mercenaries. I don't know if he's going to actually show up there, though. But Why he does plan to he hit like them the and them out. The cell swords, he could be able to buy them out. Apparently the mercenaries guild has been hitting a lot of his operations. The cell swords, is that it? <sighs> I don't know, I think it's an honor thing. Or maybe someone <laughs> in the mercenaries guild is against him. It's odd for him to have something against the mercenaries guild just because they're doing what cell swords do. I thought so too, but he's... He... <sighs> he brought Shilbrook in to his... I actually saw him at the table with the robber baron. He was getting rewarded for sparing his men on one of the most recent forays. He was told not to come to the uh, most... Uh, the next most recent mercenaries guild mission because he was going to be thinning the herd. It could just be a ploy and see... to see if, um... He's trustworthy, but he also wants Cade for his contacts, his father. His f he, um, the Institute? He wants to bring in someone from the Institute to investigate these doors once he takes power. He wants to build a portcullis and ensure that it's safe and then explore it and then see what's inside. He wants to know if there's an archway. He wants to, again, None like I this. said, take an archway and go beyond the sea. Well, however the hell he plans None to do that, I have no good. idea. Hmm. It could be that he's using this province and the idea of stability to fulfill his pipe dream, and once he gets the chance, he takes an archway and leaves. Which would leave us holding the bag and the blade, by the way. Right. He's not an option. 
But if we let him kill Tobman, he will no longer be vulnerable. Right now, his men are... Uh, I know the location of his keep. I know the way in. There are a lot of men there, but most of them are on the front lines fighting right now. If we had the armor and the men power, we could probably storm it. But they've got a lot of resources in and... It'd oh, be dangerous. Risky. It's all very risky. We could enlist the aid of the elves. But that would give this wind to Kovaz. We, we could we enlist want the aid good. of the Imperials. I've got an idea. I'm listening. He kills... Hmm. He kills Tobman and his lieutenants. The Imperials are left in disarray. We go to a mem. I say I know the way to his hideout. He's... Hmm. We'd be in a better position now. But I know a way there that's not trapped. But how would a man move on it? You're right with the Capitano in the place. way. That's another thing. The the robber baron dislikes the Capitano. He Everyone wants him dead too. Everyone dislikes the Capitano. I've, uh, <laughs> I've asked him to help me find more information about it, but I probably won't go anywhere. Important though, Tobman is going to get me uh, Bergamasco's ledger today. I convinced him to, um, that there might be something in there that can, um, exonerate a man. So, we can look, find out the source, uh, who's buying the right resources at the right time, and then hopefully we can act on that. We can clear out the Capitano at least, or we'll get another step forward. All these cards are going to come crumbling down. I guess we really want to find out what order they do. So, Tobman dies in a day or two. There's a chance he survives. He seems... well... I told him he should probably bring extra protection to the meeting as it sounded fishy. Well, why would you hint at that, Tim? Because I had a moment of weakness. But I never... I what did not insinuate that he should not go. Of weakness? I don't know. Han, he reminds me of you. He's... It's like if you... But <laughs> if you were an the Imperial... What the fuck is it's... that supposed to mean? He carries himself the same way. It's... A... You should I could just imagine him... Your mouth. Is there anything else you need to tell us? <sighs> Don't take it the wrong way, Han. Is there anything else you need to tell us? Off the top of my head, I can't think of anything. I need to get myself ready for the rest of the day. <sighs> Naturally, just compare him to an Imperial. No, I said... It was like speaking to an imperial version of him. It's not the same thing. <laughs> All right, we need um, an income source. I'm looking for investments, passive income. Any ideas? <sighs> passive income. <sighs> Something to invest in, maybe. The one we thing that the we need more income, basically. I don't want to be, you know, having to be everywhere at once, but I would like to be able to be making some sort of... Well, we could fix up more of the province. Right now, uh, Mark has done a great job fixing up the, the, um, the mill. And once that's done, he and I will have passive income coming in from that. That's what I was thinking, something Other like that. Other than that. Along those lines. Maybe you could petition the barons to... Um, Fix the wall. That but doesn't give us income. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Just something to think about if you come up with anything. Because that's our main blocker right now. build a fucking right ship. <laughs> and do what? 
<laughs> I don't we know. need the money to make the ship. That's the point. <laughs> so that's why we need the money. We need a lot of money to do what we need to do. So we need a passive income that doesn't involve us running out every 30 minutes to go handle something. Fuck, not to change the subject again, but I remembered why he hates the mercenaries company. He claims that the mercenary company are the ones that killed Jildar. That's a bold claim. Even he if they're very fervent about it. Even if that is the case, they work under contract, so the buck doesn't stop with them. Jildar, according to the Robber Baron, hired the mercenaries company as a show of force for the Vipact meeting, and when the Vipacts arrived, the mercenaries turned on him, stabbed him to death in front of the Vipacts, the Vipact escaped. Gee, I wonder who benefits from that the most. Either it was the Vipex or the Vipex was set up to take the fall. Yeah. Hmm. I have a strange theory. Go on. A mem is very clearly upset by his father's death. He did a lot of rash things in the wake of it. Their mother still hasn't recovered. But Kervaz, I don't think he's changed at all. And according to the robber baron, he emphatically insisted he not take these mercenaries. It was someone closer to the ro to the baron Juldar who convinced him to take the mercenaries, though he did not know who. So what's closer than his son? Hello. Her? I think Kovaz. I think he convinced Juldar to take the mercenaries. I think maybe he's even working with the Capitano and paying him under the table. Maybe he's the one benefiting as well as the Capitano and allows him to operate with this contact in the Merchant's Guild. And they might even be related to this special interest benefactor, the Free Wolf. It's certainly a theory. Did any of you want tea? No, I'm about to head out. I'm actually. all right, Marcus. Thank you, though. Oh. Good. Thank you. Something to think about, I guess. Fuck. This gets more complicated by the day. That it does. That um, it does. Do talk to Torty. And if you need me there to be more of a bad cop. <sighs> I'll talk to her. We need to drive She's this rational. point home. I don't want to... I'll tell her. Alright. I like seeing you happy, so... You know, don't throw it away. <sighs> right. Let me know if uh, you find anything about passive income, okay? Sure. I'll catch up with you later. All right. Take care. Tyler, your head is throbbing after that rigorous bout of couch-side statecraft between mere and Arnulf and yourself. Mirren seems more like an indecisive chess player than anything, not willing to commit to just about any move, it seems. Always trying to think a thousand moves ahead. There's no way you can plan for every single contingency you know. Thank you. Still, you know you have to remain focused, one way or the other, on at least one objective. Some kind of passive income. You've racked your brain for a couple of days thinking about this, and, well... Besides the spice, you know there's one other thing that Gradia is well known for and would be as lucrative as the spice trade were it not for even more stringent and far-reaching legal implications. 
the shrubbery's been cleared slaves. and a couple of the trees next to the wall and you know that down. slaves are not merely bought with silver slaves have to come from somewhere they are made You need to get yourself a skull cap. <laughs> it's uh, called hair. That's exactly what I need. Hair? Like what's there? <laughs> you wouldn't try it. You don't have the balls. Balls to do what? You don't? Good question. Do you need anything, Shriek? No, I was actually going to speak to, uh... Just the drow I wanted to see. Motherfucker, uh, what do you boss need? told me you'd buy all my all right. iron, iron ore. <laughs> I did. I bought it from Vezrin this morning. Hmm? Mine, though? Oh, how much? And how much? <laughs> Well, I have 24 ore. Or what? <laughs> or shit, how much do I... No? Okay. What? He said I have 24 ore, and I said, or what? <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> go ahead. 24. For a total of... Did you... Oh, Shriek. Uh, Hopper wants some charcoal. Yeah, I bet he fucking does. Alright, what do you want? I, 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 got the, I got the wood to deliver to you, so I'll do it when I bring the ore as well. Uh, 360? That is a lot of royal guard. Mm, mm, that's a lot. 364, 24. 360? Or 24? Mm, scary, that's right. 320. What? <laughs> no. That's, that's below cost. Below cost? How much are you buying it for? Did you say 320? Yeah. Look, that's below cost. How much are you buying it for? I'm not, I really need to know that. It's it's literally at cost. I can I, tell you how much I bought it from Vezrin much. per piece. How much? 10 copper. As per our agreement. 10 copper? This is where he He's, runs out well, of here. Next thing we know, we hear I, screaming from the other side of the town. Really? 10 copper per piece? Well, He's remember, money. I helped you guys get into the Merchant's Guild. So there's the discount on that until that's paid off. And I also... Well, I've helped Vezrin with other things. I wouldn't expect you to help on that, but that'd be why. Well, I wasn't pr privy to any of these agreements, so... Well... Do you want the ore or not? <laughs> 360, you said? 360. Listen, I could just go and find Tazim, and he'll buy it, because he said you definitely need the ore. He doesn't know that I've already bought from Vezrin today. For a lot cheaper. Yeah, he said he, 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 says he needed more than just three pieces of iron today. Yeah, he has a lot more than that. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> three ore? Yeah, no, man, three pieces of more. iron. No, 12 oh, iron. ore would be 3 iron. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know that. I've actually learned a lot about smithing since he's been teaching me. Sure, 360. 360 is a pretty good deal. All right. It's not, but uh, we can make it work. Well, yeah, says you, but the man who buys it and deals with all this every day, <laughs> you didn't have <laughs> 
Chat, do maths. Go ahead and deliver it uh, when you can. Really say that, yeah, it's yeah. a common phrase. What was that? You want to talk? Don't all merchants say you're getting a good deal? Fitting it on. Um, I mean, I don't have to do that, but. Uh, He's not fighting. Yes, we need to have a short chat. Right. Right. With me then. Hey, you want to carry? You want help me carry some cards? Think is about to disappear. So. Uh, Miss Venora, I, uh, I have to go with these I gave ones. Oh, uh, yes, yes. Oh, to Marcus. Where are you headed? Check out the thing in the corner. Oh, thank you. Uh, Appreciate right. it. Good luck. Yeah, that's right. Never. <laughs> I am pretty boy. Is. Oh, I shriek. Hey. Hold on, if you're tired. What do you need? I'm about to speak with him. Wooden iron. He's gonna drop on his tall wood. Go ahead. To be turned into. Thank you. It will. It will be quick. Thank you. I'm sorry for volunteering. Oh, look at that. You are pop. Yeah, I start to feel like Tizzy more and more every day. Do you know of the priest that's from Ireland? Uh, you mean the one that we, you know, saved? Yes. Uh, handed him off to you and didn't okay. think about it again. According to him... Ireland refugees have been going or taken. Taken? By who and where? By... He is unaware if it's the Ireland's Ireland guards that are already here or if it's something else. Now, I am trying to get the refugees and deserters to work at the farm. I think you can get a uh, general idea of my intentions. Right. That's going to draw a lot of heat your way. Not exactly that. As far as I'm aware, they're just working people. I was thinking more of a possible militia. Hmm. To do what with? 